my last morning in Vavao and another very hot day. I decided to cool off with a morning kayak to one of the outer islands. It's 6am but as you can see the sun is already beating down strongly and I start to regret my decision to not bring any water. There's absolutely no wind today, allowing for a very calm ocean and pretty easy but warm kayak out to the island. As I get about halfway, the sun starts to rise above Mount Talo, where I'd hiked up the day before. After about an hour on the kayak, much longer than I'd previously thought, I finally arrived at the island to have a wander around, a quick break and a much needed cool down. It was only when I looked back did I realize that I was entirely unsure of the way back. But without wanting to let it get too hot, I had no choice but to carry on. After what felt like another few hours, I finally made it back to my fale in time to get to the airport for my flight back to Tongatapu. Vavao Airport is located about 10 kilometers away from Neyafu town center, and it's actually an international airport served by Fiji Airways, connecting Vavao and its 55 islands with international tourists. At the moment, there are no international flights and only limited services to Nukualofa, from where you can fly to Ewa, Hapai and the Nuas in the most northern part of Tonga and a further one hour's flight north of Avau. It's definitely one of the smallest international airports I'd ever been to and I'd recommend not getting here with too much time to spare. There's no seating inside and only a limited seating space outside as well as a small shop selling simple drinks and snacks. And all too soon, it's time for me to end my trip to Vavao here and head back on the 50 minute flight to Tonga Tapu. As I fly, I head over the many islands of Vavau, as well as the Hapai Island group that lies halfway between Vavau and Tongatapu.
feels great to be back on the mainland in Tongatapu, but I definitely know that I'll be heading back to Vavau sometime soon.